What's up, what's up, what's up, YouTubers? It's your girl, Cora B, and I am here to talk about a positive topic. And I really want to talk about this topic because I've been seeing this topic go around literally on TikTok for about a, about a week now. And I got to talk about this. I had made a post and the post was my, I'm not obligated to take care of my children's kids. And it's a thing going around that a lot of women are expecting their mothers to take care of their kids. They're using things like, oh, it takes a village. And, you know, they're actually upset with their mother. I even had one girl say that, the welfare system, um, no, that women in back in the day were told to have children to get help from the welfare system. I've never heard of that a day in my life, okay? That is just the most dumbest shit to, sorry for cussing, but that is just the most dumbest thing that I've ever heard. And I'm like, I've never heard of that. But anyway, they're mad at the grandmothers for being 50 going to the club and dancing and shaking her behind and living her best life and then they go to say well they didn't their mothers didn't raise them so they were raised by their grandmother if you was raised by your grandmother why do you expect your mother to raise you you feel like she owe you something that's the first question i have you gotta feel like she owe you something <laughs> because there is no possible way if my mother did not raise me, I would even expect my mother to raise my child, right? Now, when it comes to having children, the only person that I expect something from is the man that I laid down and had a baby back. The man that ejaculated his sperm inside of me. That is the only person I feel is obligated to taking care of our kid or kids. I don't expect my mother or my siblings to do so. It takes a village to raise a kid. You absolutely right it does, right? It does. Help me finish school, help me finish college, help me go to work. Yes, they also are angry and upset because some of these grandmothers are out here asking for money. Okay, they are, okay? They feel like they raised you for the ones that raise their kids. They feel like they raised you. So why do I got to stop my life to help you? I simply understand that, right? I, I get that. I really get that, okay? They have the welfare system out here. Who will help? Who will help you pay your siblings to watch your kids or your mother to watch your children? But y'all don't want to give them the help to watch. And you know your mama need help on bills. You know your mama need help on bills. So why won't you go down there to the welfare system and ask for that babysitting check? Why won't you do that? You feel like your mother is obligated to helping you. You literally chose to lay down with a man knowing that you can possibly get pregnant. But what you did was you lay down with a man knowing that you could possibly get pregnant and expected a village. Instead of expecting that man to raise your kid, I'm, 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 I'm confused. I, I never expected anything from anyone. Okay, I expected everything from the men I had children by. And this is the thing. A lot of a lot of women are literally forgetting that I had a baby by this man. Well, he's not there. And who thought it is that he's not there? It's, it's, it's not your mama's fault that the man ain't in the life. That's not your mother's fault. You knew who he was, right? You knew he wasn't going to be shit. You knew this. So now at this point, you had a child expecting your mother to be in your life. I'm confused at this point. I, I'm so confused at this point. And they really are on TikTok crying about this right now. And I just don't understand why y'all crying about it. When you put so much stipulations on your family, instead of putting stipulations on a man that you had child a kid by. I don't understand that. I've ne I always put stipulations on a man that I had a child by. For instance, my second child, I told her father, you got two years to figure out what it is that you want to do. I don't want to live here in this city. So you got two years. What that means is you got two years to show and prove yourself that you're going to be there. A part of your child's life. Two years. 
nothing more, nothing less. Two years. After two years, after that second year, I was gone. He wasn't doing nothing. 14 years later, still nothing. So now what do I do? I didn't give you a chance. No child support, no nothing. Now what do I do? Do I expect my mother to raise her? Do I expect my mother to step in? No, I do not. If my mother had it, I know for a fact my mother would be like, here you go. I know this, right? But a lot of y'all are expecting something from people who don't have shit, who don't have nothing. And for the ones that do have something, you still expecting something from your family when it was your responsibility. You literally sat there and laid on that bed or that washing machine or in that car and had sexual intercourse and had a kid. Raw, you raw dog got pregnant and had a kid and expected somebody else to help you with your kids. I never expected that. I never expected that. With my, with my first son, his great grandmother helped out. My mother was in Indiana at that time. She left four months later, but before she left, my mother helped me watch my kid while I went to school. And when she left and moved to Indiana, then his grandmother began to help. And then after that, and when I say his grandmother, I mean his great-grandmother. And then after that, my cousin stepped in and helped. You see what I'm saying? They didn't have to. But we got babysitting check. We got the, I got them that babysitting check. Because they got bills to take care of. Ain't shit free in this world. Nothing is free. I don't care if, if it's your child or not. They don't have it. So why do I expect you to watch my kid for free when I know you don't have it? I got to try to give something. Y'all out here expecting Y'all parents and y'all friends and y'all family to help y'all when y'all know they don't even have nothing. And that's not cool. So how can I help you help me? How can I help you help me? That's how it's supposed to be. That's, that's a real village. That's a real village. You need food. You need gas. What do you need? Because watching my kid is a big obligation and I'm responsible enough to understand that. I am responsible enough to know these things. And a lot of people aren't. They just want to place the blame on everyone else and whine about their problem when in reality this is a you issue this is a you issue i just don't understand this i don't get it so much obligation pointed towards everybody else except for the man that you lay down and had a kid back the man you chose to lay down and had a kid back make it make sense to me i'm trying to make this make sense i I can't, it takes a village to raise a kid. Yeah, it takes a village to raise a child. You're absolutely right. Nowadays, you got parents, kids going out there having kids and then they coming home, dropping the kid off to their mama and they just gone with the wind. They don't even want to take care of their kids. I've seen women that do it all the time. I've seen it. I, I've seen it happen. They, they want to go out, club, party, drink, don't want to go to school, don't want to do nothing. They just want you to literally just be the mother. I've seen it. I've seen it. And then they want to use the term, I'm getting myself together. No, you're not. You're still having sex. You're still out here doing the things that you want to do. You're still out here being stupid. That's what you're doing. You're not getting yourself together. You're not trying to better yourself above and beyond. And then for the ones that are trying to better themselves, y'all out here whining and complaining because your mama not helping you or your cousins or your aunts or your uncles is not helping you. Or somebody's not helping you. When you got a whole system out here that'll help you. Oh, I don't want to use the welfare system. Okay, so you don't want to help. You don't want to help yourself. Get your family member a check. Is that what you're saying? A babysitting check to watch your kid. So you expect them to watch them for free. Y'all got to make this. I can't make this shit up. Nobody's obligated to watching your kid. Oh, well, we're not saying obligation. We're just saying we need a little help. No, no, no. You making it an obligation. You're expecting a person to help you with something when you have nothing to fucking give. You have nothing to give. You don't even want to go down to the welfare system and get a babysitting check for them to help you. you that's sad. Because why? Why, why? why don't you want to do that? Like, why do you, why, why would you even expect I don't expect nothing from nobody but my kid's dad. If if I don't have it, I just don't have it. If I can't get it, I just don't. I don't have a village right now. Like, I, I hadn't had a village since I left Michigan. And Michigan, 
was was my cousin, you know, and that that was my village. My cousin was my village. My mother was always in Indiana. She helped. She did help me out though with my first marriage, um, with my oldest son. She did help me out. She watched them, you know, and we 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 did reciprocate though. You see what I'm saying? We reciprocated. We paid. We did do that. I'm not gonna lie and say that we didn't. But at the same time, like she wasn't obligated. I didn't make her obligated to do so. That's why I said, Ma, here are some money. Because she could barely pay the bills at her own house. Here goes something. Something is better than nothing. Y'all don't get the picture though, y'all. Oh, this is why black people going down, black people going down. I see more Caucasian kids in daycares than our, our kids. I've seen it and I've been stayed in multiple states. I never put my kids in daycare except for when they were able to talk. You gotta be able to talk with me. My kids can't talk, they not going in, and they only went one time and they all was together. All three of them was together. They never went along, separate times. No, they gonna go together. So my whole point is, nobody's obligated to taking care of your kids, but the man that you had kids by. Start making him an obligation. Start expecting more out of the man that you had kids by. Because that's who's supposed to help you. And that's just how I wholeheartedly feel about that. I never made nobody else other than the men that I laid down and had kids by, made them the obligation. It's, your, it's me and your obligation to take care of these kids. We gotta figure this out. Whether we together or not, we gotta figure it out. And we don't have to be together to raise kids. We can co-parent this shit out. Okay, you ain't doing nothing, you ain't working, and that's what's going on. And I didn't have a baby by you. And I know you ain't shit, but you gonna help me. So we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the hard way. Because if you don't want to help me as a man, then that means you're trying to make my life a little harder than what it is. And I don't like that. So what we gonna do about this? See, that's the thing. Y'all need to make these men, hold these men accountable. Hold them accountable. Because ain't nobody obligated to watching your kid. Mother, father, nobody. I stand firm on what I said. You sat there and had a kid. Did you have a kid to get help? Did you have the kid for to make your family an obligation? Why did you choose to have a child is the question. I didn't choose to have a kid to make anybody an obligation to my seed. Only me and the parent that I had a kid by, the sperm. <laughs> anyway, I gotta go. I will see y'all in a minute. Give me comments below. Subscribe if you like this content, but I think I need to continue to touch uh, base on this. I'll probably make a part two. I don't know. But this has to be said. And I will see y'all in a minute. As always, thank you for choosing the Core B Show. Goodbye.